So I'ma teach y'all what I wish I knew. If you have started with acrylic paints and you're like, oh, I wanna check out oils, but then you ask people like, what are the differences between acrylics and oils? Like, give me wisdom. All they say is just dry time is longer. So what does that mean? How does it affect things? So I'ma tell you what people didn't tell me. Like I, oh, okay, I tried my hardest to research what I should know. And I guess the videos that I found were just, you know, it's, it's a complete possibility. But I can't just swirl around like I usually did because it's expensive, okay? So when I touched my first oils two years ago, all the scary news, newness, the, the, the new scariness is still in my mind. Like I know what confused me as a beginner. I know what I wish I knew as a beginner. Like it's, it's still here, it's still fresh. So here's what's gonna happen. I have done two, two paintings. One is acrylic and the other is oil. And I'm actually gonna show you guys comparative, in real time, art tips. So my acrylic painting is a song called Homeward by Benjamin William Hastings. And that song was a gift to my friend. It was one of her favorite. I might, my seat is like real squeaky. So if, if you hear that throughout the video, Apologies. Anyway, the oil painting I am doing is Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine. If you haven't heard either of those songs, go take a listen to them. They're, they're pretty good. So part one is gonna be how oils react to the canvas. You can paint on wood and different surfaces, but I'd say majority of us use canvases, right? There's threads going like this and there's threads going like this. And in between those, it's real fun. Um, bear with me. Um, in between those, do you see those gaps? Those are where the divots are. They're like, if you look real closely on a canvas, they dip down. Now, why am I talking about those annoying divots? Well, with acrylic, if you've realized when your acrylics start to get dry, they really only brush on top of that surface and they show that grid work basically. They show the threads that are there and they don't fill in those divots. It can be really frustrating because if you're not going for that type of texture, you're not going for that type of texture. But with oils, because there's, you know, more dry time, like everybody has been saying, they don't have that dry texture to it so quickly. And so they glide into those divots way easier. Like, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. With acrylic, I can like add water to it, but it just, it just makes it transparent and watery. But with oils, like you, you can add different things to it, like linseed oil or um, paint thinner, which is like Gamsol. Also, I will be doing a video about oil painting supplies. So if you're confused, I will explain in another one. There are things you can add to the acrylics to slow dry it. It's by Liquitex, it's slow dry medium. But usually oil paint just itself, if you have good quality, it just, it glides into those divots. It doesn't make me wanna pull my hair out, you know? If I'm if I'm going for the buttery smooth look, it's gonna give me the buttery smooth look, okay? Acrylics, it might fight you on that. If we haven't met before, I am obsessed with painting songs. It's just so great. But why? Well, I just find that songs can so easily connect with people. But not only is it like just easy communication and easy connection, but when I think of one song, you might be thinking of something completely different. You might have a different interpretation, a different memory or a different emotion attached to it. When I'm painting a song, it's, it's a, this is what it means for me. This is what it looks like for me. One of the things that I saw that was beautiful and gorgeous and so perfect is 
the meaning of the dog days are over song to me which is the oil painting and then the topic of this video like they they fit perfectly and i'm gonna explain i'm gonna explain this song is my graduation song i graduated high school last summer so it's been a little bit but it's also kind of stuck with me it, it hasn't stayed in that graduation phase like you, you listen to lyrics and then that makes sense but even the instruments themselves like there's a reason why i painted a lady dancing in a field because it makes me want to go dance in the field it's a huge celebration of freedom and i felt really excited when i graduated and that has faded so yeah, I just, I just listened to it just to kind of remind me of like, you can still want to go dance in the field. So it's okay to be excited. And the topic of this video is going from acrylic to oil. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get real close. It's graduation. And the painting I'm doing for this video is about graduation. So my point is going from acrylic to oils it is pretty daunting, but I will say that the change of adding another medium onto my life, and notice how I said adding, because I'm still gonna be using acrylic. Like, I'm not just, like, I don't draw much anymore, but I still draw, because it's an essential part of, like, just what I do. change is scary and it's okay to acknowledge those feelings that come with change and it's not only okay it's needed you are witnessing me in the process of processing and this painting is just a little piece of it okay part two this this is the kicker I'm dead serious I struggled so much with this one so part one was how oils react to the canvas, but how do oils react with other oil? So with acrylics, you can layer to your heart's content. Even if the acrylics is kind of wet under, I mean, it'll, it'll mix a bit, but you can still do it. Oils, I'd like to see you try. And here's what I mean by that. Okay, because some of you might actually have experience with oils and be like, what does she mean? I know how to do it. Here's what I mean, okay? I'm gonna show you. This. This right here. This is my baby, okay? So this is my first oil painting that didn't go well. Hear me out. I know it looks great, okay? I love it too, but I was not aiming for Van Gogh texture, although it does look real nice. But me starting oil paints was like, oh, I've heard that it can be really buttery smooth and like it can do portraits like none other. And so I was like, I'm gonna do a buttery smooth, you can't see no brush strokes painting. Do you see why this is viewed as a struggle? then okay you all you see now is just my pain of a lot happened to get to this point okay so I'm gonna tell you why it had to turn out like this as I was saying the acrylic you can layer oil you gotta fight it okay you gotta fight it I'm gonna explain it this way if you have no I'm gonna explain it this way okay right here we have one two three we have three levels of paint let's just say that this is the amount of thickness of paint I have on a canvas now let's say this is blue okay and I want to put a white highlight on top of it this is this is gonna be my paintbrush okay I'm gonna go oh this is such great blue I'm gonna put this white highlight on top of it and I put it down what is going to happen it is it's not going to put the white paint down okay what it's going to do it's going to take some blue with it you got a dirty paintbrush and you got less paint on your canvas now how do you stop that from happening that seems hopeless because what happens if you want to add something on top and you can't work all the colors in its own space well i'm gonna tell you you need 
to bring big guns, okay? Think of paint on that canvas as very territorial, territorial people. They got their claim on this land and they're like, nobody gonna steal it if you bring one dude. This dude might take one out of the fight and make your paintbrush dirty, but to actually lay claim on top of what's already there, put paint on top of it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this much on your paintbrush, okay? There's three levels right here. I have four levels on my paintbrush. Then what will happen is that it'll get overpowered and it'll do, I'm gonna try not to drop these, okay. It'll do this. I have three levels of that blue and I was able to put down two of that white. I was able to highlight it now. And then I'm left with some white on my paintbrush. So you see it kind of in action because like right there, I have, you know, thin layers of paint. But when I'm globbing on those flowers, I have to do exactly that. I have to make sure that I am bringing a bigger army to the fight to lay it on top of the oil paints that feel like they've got territory of the canvas. That one piece of information took me from doing this type of texture to then choosing when I would like to glop on paint. I can choose when I want to blend it out. I can choose when I want to glop it on. And I've actually figured out layering with this, with this chick. Here's the difference. Both are great. Both I love, but this one I felt more confident in because I, I just had more of an idea of how oil paints function. So this ain't the end of what I can teach y'all about this. <laughs> but for the sake of the time of this video, yeah. But I've got a lot more to explore about this, so come back for more. But if you have a question, please ask in the comments. There might be other artists who are watching the video wondering the same exact thing. So there's no stupid questions. Ask away anything, because I'm new to oils. I'm figuring out too. Your questions might actually help me figure out what the heck I'm doing. Or if you're an experienced oil painter and you want to comment and like, <sighs> help us out here. I love it too. Artists supporting artists. And I might not just respond to y'all. I might make an entire video about it. Like, I'm here to help you guys. Y'all just need to point me in the right direction. Also, I'd love to hear your songs that are special to you and change. For me, it's Dog Days Are Over and a couple more, but I'm always up for song suggestions. Spotify playlist, anyone? See you next time.